Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to test for the asymmetrical tonic neck reflex in your child or the ATNR reflex. So you're going to have your child stand straight, feet somewhat close together or touching, that's fine, and then arms straight out in front of you, in front of your child, wrists are going to be relaxed. Okay, you're going to instruct them, you're going to close their eye or have them close their eyes and they're going to move their head to the right and you're going to tell them to keep their arms in front of them the whole time or have them try to. So you're going to count to 10, maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you're going to do that twice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. To the left again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the third time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So after the third one, you go right, left, and straight into the middle. Open your eyes. Do you feel dizzy at all? No. Was that hard? No. Do your arms feel tired? Sort of, okay, that's normal. What we're looking for is the normal response, which is arms are straight out front, wrists are relaxed, and when we have his eyes closed and I'm moving his head to the right or to the left, his body maintains this position right here. Now an abnormal response is when I move his head to the right or to the left, his arms are going to drift left or right. Now, depending on how much movement it is, depending, it depends on how um, severe it is. So what we want to make sure is we want to integrate this reflex and Elevating Kids, the program will help walk you through step by step on how to integrate this reflex in your child.